present our next speaker, Cedric Chin, aka Eli James. I have no idea what that means. Wow. <laughs> you gave it to me, I say it out. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, so Cedric is a computer science major and is the current president of NUS Hackers. He is the youngest speaker at Internet Archives Book Internet Archives Books in Browsers Conference in 2011. In 2010, he co-founded the e-book -pub e publishing startup Pandemian and is a member of Reading20, an invitation-only publisher mailing list created by Peter Brantley of the Open Book Alliance. He loves e-book formats, Python, P, and Cats. Okay, so presenting on the topic, NUS Hackers, building random stuff for fun, experience, and... Glory! Glory. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hi everyone, uh, my name is Cedric. Usually I'm known for my work in digital publishing. But today I'm going to talk about something that's closer to my heart, something that affects all of us as students in school computing at NUS. We're going to talk about hacking, why hacking is important to a computing student, and what we're doing about it at NUS Hackers. So the first question that everybody asks me when I talk about NUS Hackers is like, what do you mean by hacking? And the one thing we don't mean, and you can probably already guess this, is that we don't mean breaking into computer systems and destroying things. Um, that's a newer definition of the word hacking that came out in the 1980s. What we refer to when we say hacking is the original definition that came out in the 1960s, primarily around the MIT AI lab. Um, and what's, uh, and the, the, the most concise definition is playful cleverness by this guy, Richard Stallman. Um, and essentially it's this idea of building things and understanding things with curiosity, with playful cleverness. So some examples of prominent hackers. This is um, Dennis Ritchie and uh, Keith, uh, Ken Thompson, who invented Unix. They're working on a big computer. Uh, they, Unix started as a hack project. Ken Thompson was sick of working on this huge operating system, so he built Unix on the side. And Unix influenced this guy, Linus Torvald, to build the Linux kernel for fun as a hack project uh, because he was, he was lazy and he wanted to have a Unix terminal in his uh, room to read news. So instead of buying a Unix implementation, he decided to hack one up himself. Now, of course, we all know that Zuckerberg's a hacker uh, because of the movie The Social Network, but what we tend to forget is that Facebook today still wants, Zuckerberg still wants Facebook today to be a hacker-friendly company, and this has worked out very well for them. Photo tagging was invented in one of Facebook's 24-hour hackathons, and now it's patented. So perhaps I've shown you that hacking and computing has a, share, a long shared history, and we get to where we are today due to advancements in hacking. But what does it mean for you, right? What does it mean as an individual student in the school of computing? Why should you hack? Well, the first thing is that you learn things. You learn things that you don't otherwise learn if you just go to school and code for assignments and go home and stop coding. Uh, you learn things that, um, like when it's new technologies, like say uh, uh, GitHub or, or using Git or using new libraries and new paradigms that you wouldn't get if you just go through school just following everything and just only just what people teach you. Um, this is more important than you think, especially when you graduate, right? And you have to start working on these technologies. Uh, that you don't learn in school, it would be better if you had some taste of what to learn and how to learn. The second thing is that if you, have a, uh, if you hack and you release open source code as a student and you uh, uh, contribute open source projects, you will eventually build a portfolio of the code and things that you've done. Uh, for instance, this is my GitHub profile. Uh, I'm sure if you have a GitHub profile as well, this would be something that you can show to your employer when you graduate and you want to get out when you want to find work. Uh, and this is good for employers because they can actually see your code. They can actually see what you've written. Um, so what we do at NUS Hackers is try to get people to code for their own benefit. The first thing is that we release code for NUS's uh, uh, community. This is the uh, NUS co unofficial course API, which uh, I built in about four days, uh, in December holidays. Um, the second thing that we try to do is we try to, get, uh, we try to build this community to give people, our students a place to show off. This is Treehouse. It's a web app that we built in about six days. Also in December, they were deployed, but we also have a mailing list where people show off the cool stuff that they've built, the cool stuff that they want to show off, the cool code snippets that they want people to learn from. Third, we inspire students with talks. Every Friday we have free pizza, uh, and we have one or two technical speakers. We get them to come, whether it's from the faculty, whether it's students showing off their code projects, or whether it's people from the industry, and we get them to come give talks to people. And this is the full list of talks for this semester. And lastly, we have a 24-hour hackathon that's coming up with during the midterm break, uh, you may have gotten announcements. I'm not going to spend much time talking about this, uh, and there will be prizes. And essentially, essentially trying to get you to build things that benefit uh, both the community and yourself. So that's great for an individual. That's great for why we're trying to do this. But why is hacking important for NUS? We believe that if you build a community of passionate programmers, 
of passionate hackers, good hackers, a whole bunch of people benefit from this, not just individually. We think professors benefit because if they, if you have a pool of good programmers, they, that's a good place for you to hide from. It's good for the school because you get better programmers. We think tech startups benefit. One thing you may not know is that NUS's startup ecosystem is starving for good engineers. They're desperate for programmers. And we think we can fix that if we can grow a sufficiently large enough community of good, passionate hackers. Lastly, it benefits the students because when you're together in a community, uh, companies tend to want to throw stuff at you, free stuff like playbooks and uh, tickets <laughs> to events and stuff like that. And yes, so um, this is just my final slide. Uh, join us, every, we meet every Friday in Utah. Uh, we have a, a mailing list at nushackers.org slash discussion. Um, and I'm not kidding when we say we have free stuff. I think about 30 people already have free playbooks from hanging on the mailing list. Uh, we have tickets to free events as well. Um, and thank you very much.